good morning student uh, today i'm going to uh, tell you about uh, history of uh, linux and unix in detail and uh, also i'm explaining you like uh, evaluation of computer and uh, evaluation of uh, unix unix expansion evolution of uh, linux and linux today so architecture so uh, in this uh, lecture we will uh, uh, cover all these topic so let's start Okay, so here you see, uh, first of all, I will tell you about uh, Linux, uh, Linux history. So uh, evolution of uh, computer in, uh, first of all, I will tell you in earlier days, uh, computer were, uh, uh, were as big as houses, okay, as we know, so, uh, or parks. So you can um, imagine how difficult, uh, difficult it was to operate them. And uh, moreover, every computer has a different operating system. So basically, uh, which is uh, which made it uh, completely worse to operate on them. Okay. So uh, Linux began in uh, 1991 as a, a personal project by uh, a Finnish uh, a student, Linus Torvald. So uh, Linus uh, Torvald is the main person uh, to create a new free operating system uh, kernel. Okay. So in uh, 1991, while studying computer science at uh, University of uh, Helsinki, Linus Torvalds began a project that later become the Linux uh, kernel. So uh, every uh, software was designed for a specific purpose and was, uh, uh, you can say, uh, unable to operate on other computers. So it was extremely uh, costly and uh, normal people neither can afford it nor can understand it. Okay. So uh, he uh, basically he wrote the program uh, speci uh, specifically uh, for the hardware. Okay, uh, he was using uh, and independent of an operating system because he wanted to use the functions of his new PC for own PC uh, with uh, an uh, 80386 processor. Okay, so uh, development was done on, on uh, Minix, M I N I X, Minix using the gnu c compiler so this is uh, all about uh, of, uh, uh, evolution of computer okay so linux history so distribution so distribution is a collection of programs combined with the linux kernel to make up a linux operation system so below are famous uh, linux distribution families so these are the uh, linux distribution families so Debian family system such as Ubuntu, as we discussed earlier, a Debian family system, SUSE family systems such as OpenSUSE, okay, Fedora family system such as Cent operating system, OS stands for operating system. So these are the basically Linux distribution uh, family. So uh, in, in 1969, a team of uh, uh, developers of Bell Labs started a project to make a common uh, software for all the computers and uh, uh, named it as a uh, unix okay fine so uh, it was a simple and uh, elegant used c language instead of uh, uh, assembly okay so language and it uh, its code was recyclable okay so these are the uh, distribution families of uh, linux operating system fine so as it was a recyclable uh, a part of its code now commonly called kernel was used to develop the operating system okay so uh, first of all uh, debian based distribution so Debian is an open source project and focuses on stability. So Debian supports a lot uh, Linux distributions, including Ubuntu. So there are uh, so many flavors uh, or uh, versions. Uh, I'm not talking about uh, flavors. I'm talking about uh, versions of Ubuntu, like uh, 16.04, 18.04, uh, 20.04, so, so, uh, so on. So Linux kernel 3.13 is used in Ubuntu. Okay, so it uses DPKG based apt dot minus get package manager. So basically, what is the apt minus get? 
so uh, when you uh, install any software when you remove uh, any software uh, we will use uh, uh, this command apt dot get uh, minus get uh, install so this is a installer package okay so ubuntu is widely used for uh, cloud based uh, deployments okay Abu what is ubuntu ubuntu is an operating system so uh, basically initially unix unix was only uh, found in uh, uh, large organizations like government uh, university or larger financial corporations uh, uh, with main frames and micro computers okay so uh, if if we're talking about uh, uh, in previous Unix expansion, like uh, in 18, uh, many orga organizations like uh, you can say IBM and uh, for, for example, UHP and a uh, dozen other companies started uh, created their own Unix. Okay, so it results in a mess of Unix. Uh, okay, so then in uh, 1983, Richard uh, Stallman, uh, one person who developed the GNU project with the goal to make it freely available, Unix like operating system. Okay, but uh, um uh, and then his project failed in gaining uh, popularity so many other unix uh, like operating system came into existence but uh, none of them was able to gain popularity okay so here you see SUSE based linux distribution so uh SUSE, uh support SUSE, SUSE linux enterprise server and open SUSE. so linux kernel 3.11 is used in open source uh, 12.3 so uh, if if we are talking about eval evaluation of uh, linux so in linux uh, you can say uh, like uh, uh, in 1991 linux torvald who is developed linux okay so linux torvald is a student at the university uh, so where i am uh Okay, evaluation of Linux, like uh, uh, yeah, Linus Torvald is a student at the university of, uh, uh, stu uh, university name, uh, I actually I forget, uh, Helsing Hel Helsinki uh, fin in, in Finland. So thought to have a freely available uh, academic version of uh, Unix started uh, writing its own code. Okay, so later this project become uh, the Linux kernel. Okay, uh, he wrote this program especially for uh, his own PC as uh, he wanted to use Unix 386 Intel computer but could not uh, afford it. Okay, so it uses RPM based uh, zipper package manager also. So it included YAST application for uh, monitoring system and uh, is widely used in retail sector. So he did it uh, on Minix using a GNU C compiler. GNU C compiler is still uh, the main choice to like uh, compile Linux code, but other compilers are also used like uh, Intel C compiler. Uh, he started it just for uh, basically uh, what are the main uh, a reason uh, to develop Linux uh, uh, distributions like uh, he started it just for fun, okay, but ended up with uh, such a large project like a Linux operating system. So firstly, he wanted to name uh, it as a uh, uh, freaks, but later it become Linux. Okay, I I I'm, I I repeat I repeat. Firstly, he wanted to name it as freak. F R E freaks. F R E A X freaks, but later it become Linux. Okay. So next is your uh, Fedora based Linux uh, distribution. Like uh, uh, in Linux uh, today, uh, today uh, 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 your supercomputers, uh, your smartphones, your uh, desktop, like your web servers and uh, you say tablets your laptops and home appliances like uh, uh, your ovens uh, your uh, microwaves your washing machines your dvd players refrigerators cars etc so everywhere use uh, everywhere everywhere use linux operating system okay fine so Fedora is a community that provides the basis for the sent operating system Red Hat Linux. Red Hat Linux. Scient uh, scientific Linux and Oracle Linux. So these are the 
flavors of uh, fedora based linux distribution so it uses rpm based yum package manager okay so linux kernel 2.6.32 is used by rhel okay and or sent operating system fine so why use linux so question arises why use use linux so basically linux uh, is a completely uh, different from uh, other operating system in many ways linux is completely different from other operating system in uh, many ways so uh, it gives you lot of uh, option of programs having some different features so you can choose according to your need okay so uh, if we are talking about uh, uh, unix so the unix operating system is a set of programs that acts as a link between the computer and the user got it uh, again i repeat if we are talking about uh, unix the unix operating system is a set of programs that acts as a link between the computer and the user but in the case of linux it gives you lot of options of uh, programs having some different features or so you can choose according to your need okay so it's completely trouble free operating system and don't have an issue with viruses this is very important don't have an issue with viruses in linux operating system so malware and slowing down your computer so this is you can say the uh, advantage of uh, linux operating system fine so it is an open source again i repeat what is open source you can freely download your source code from google so which gives a great advantage to the programmers as, as they can design their own custom operating system so every programmer every programmer download the source code from google and they can design their own custom operating system okay by changing a little little by uh, by little bit, uh, changes in the source code okay so basically the computer programs that uh, you can say allocate the system resources and uh, uh, coordinate all the details of the computers internal is called the operating system or the kernel so uh, like a user communicate with the kernel through a program known as a shell okay remember what is shell so user communicate with the kernel through a program known as the shell again i repeat because this is very important line about what is shell users communicate with the kernel through a program known as the shell so basically the shell is a, a like command line interpreter cli cui command or, or you can you can also uh, say that uh, uh, cli is a cui command user interface so this the shell is a command line interpreter it translates commands entered by the user and converts them into a language that is understood by the kernel got it so this is called a shell so you see when you type the program type a program on a black screen on a command prompt so what is command prompt this is basically a shell so unix was originally developed in 1969 by a group of at and t's employees ken thompson at bell labs okay at that time uh, all uh, uh, dennis ritchie douglas mcleroy and joy so all uh, write the code in, in shell in black on on the black screen so there are various uh, unix variants available in the market like uh, uh, you can say solaris unix uh, aix hp unix and bsd are few examples of linux uh, sorry uh, unix variants okay so here you see uh, what is uh, unix basically the unix uh, operating system is a set of programs the unix operating system is a set of programs that acts as a link between the computer and the 
user. The Unix operating system is a set of programs that acts as a link between the computer and the user. Okay. So a user can also run a multiple programs at the same time. Here you see this is user. So what is user basically? So a user can also run multiple programs at the same time. Hence, uh, uh, Unix is a multitasking environment. Basically, this Unix here, you see, this Unix is a multitasking environment. So the computer programs that allocate the system resources and coordinate all the details of the computer's internals is called the operating system, operating system or the kernel. So uh, as we know, the computer program that uh, uh, allocates the system resources and coordinates all the details of the computer's internals is called the operating system or the kernel. Okay. So uh, if we are talking about uh, several people can uh, you can say use a Unix computer at the same time. Okay. So uh, hence uh, Unix is called a multi-user system also. So listen carefully, listen carefully. There are two definitions of a uh, um, multi-user system and multi-tasking environment. First of all, I will tell you multi-user system definition. So what is multi-user system in Unix? Several people uh, can use a Unix computer at the same time, at the same time. Hence, Unix is called a multi-user system. Fine. But in the case of a multitasking environment, a user can also run multiple programs. Multiple programs at the same time. So, hence, Unix is a multitasking environment. Fine. So users communicate with the kernel, uh, kernel through a program known as the shell. As we know about what is shell, the shell is a command line interpreter, line interpreter. As we can say also uh, CUI, command user interface. So it translates commands entered by the user. So it translates command entered by the user and converts them into a language that is understood by the kernel. This is basically what is shell. Okay. What is the uh, function of shell? Shell is basically a black screen where you write, where, you, where a programmer is write the program on the shell. And what the shell do? The shell is a command. <coughs> the So the shell is a command line interpreter. Okay. So it translates commands entered by the user and converts them into a language that is understood by the kernel. So this is all about your Unix operating system. Okay. Fine. So here are the some definition of uh, a Unix. Unix was originally developed in 1969, as we know, by a group of AT&T employees, Ken Thompson, Dennis Ritchie, Douglas McElroy, and Joy Osana at Bell Labs. So these are the developers of the Unix operating system. Okay. So there are various Unix variants available in the market. Solaris Unix, AIX, HP Unix, and BSD are a few examples. So Linux is, Linux is also a flavor of Unix, which is freely available. Okay. Several people can use a Unix computer at the same time. Hence, Unix is called a multi-user system. This, this is very important line. Several people can use a Unix computer at the same time. Hence, Unix is called a multi-user system. 
on the other side a user can also run multiple programs at the same time hence unix is a multitasking environment okay so this is the definition of multi user system and multitasking environment now very important unix architecture so basically uh, this is the diagram of uh, unix architecture okay and you can also say that uh, here is a basic block diagram of a unix system okay see there is a application programs mail ftp file transfer protocol hardware kernel shell dbms database management system so these are the shells okay bash shell ksh shell ch sh shell sh shell okay so these are the editors vi editor ed cut so basically this is the architecture of unix operating system so the you can say the main concept that uh, unites all the version of unix is the uh, following four basic uh, uh, basics like uh, your uh, like uh, kernel and your shell okay and uh, your uh, uh, applications programs mail files and directories okay system uh, you can say your system boot up fine so uh, basically the main concept that uh, uh, unites all the versions of unix uh, is the following four basics like uh, first uh, first of all is your uh, kernel here you can see kernel this is kernel so kernel the kernel is the heart of the operating system i repeat the kernel is the heart of the operating system this is this is the heart of the operating system okay so it interacts with the hardware it interacts with the hardware you see kernel interacts directly to the interacts with the hardware and most of the tasks like uh, you can say memory management task scheduling and file management while interact with hardware okay fine so again i re repeat what is kernel and what is the ba basic function of kernel so kernel first of all interact uh, kernel is the uh, you can say heart of the operating system where it interacts with the hardware it interacts with the hardware and most of the tasks like uh, you can say memory management file scheduling and task scheduling okay this is the main function of the kernel now next is your shell so as we know what is shell and what is the basic function of shell but i will tell you in explain in detail uh, what is shell the shell is the basically the utility that uh, processes your risk requests okay the shell is the utility that processes means your request your uh, data your uh, programs processes your requests okay so when you uh, like uh, i will give you an example when you type uh, uh, in command at your terminal when you <coughs> when you type in a command at your uh, terminal the shell interprets the command and calls the program that you want understand again i repeat when you type in a command at your terminal the shell interprets the command and calls the program that you want so the shell uses a standard syntax for all commands okay c shell 
bond shell and corn shell so these are the most famous shells which are available with the most of the unix variants okay so this is about your hardware kernel shell now i'm going to tell you about uh, uh, commands and uh, utilities like uh, there are various commands and utilities which you can make use of uh, in your day to day activities like uh, cp okay and uh, you can say like your mv like cat and grab a sector so are a few examples of commands and utilities so there are over uh, like uh, uh, two you can say 250 uh, standard commands plus uh, numerous others provided through third party software so all the commands come along with the various options okay now your ftp file transfer protocols and your directories also so all the data of the unix is organized into files i repeat all the data of the unix here you see all the data of the unix is organized into files so all files are, are then organized into directories firstly all the data unix is organized into files and all the files then organized into your directories so these directories are further categorized into tree like structure called the file system file system file transfer protocol basically the main function of a, a ftp mean uh, uh, your uh, file transfer uh, from source to destination but i am telling you what what do you mean by files and directories like uh, your all the data in the unix is organized into files first okay so uh, all the files uh, and now second all the files uh, are then organized into directories and then directories are further organized into a, a tree like structure like uh, your file system from top to down and down to top looks like a tree fine so in this uh, uh, unix architecture there is a system boot up there is a system boot up now we don't know what is the system boot up so i will tell you what is system boot up if you have a computer which has the unix operating system installed in it so then you simply need to turn on the system to make it to live okay so as soon Uh, as you turn on the system it starts booting up and uh, uh, finally it prompts you to log into the system and which is an activity to log uh, into the system and uh, use it your day to day activities so uh, i will tell you like uh, when you log in a unix when you log in unix uh, when you uh, first con connect to a unix system you uh, usually see a prompt such as a, a following like a login login double colon okay so to log in have your user id like your identification like your your name your password is ready and contact your system administrator if you don't have these yet okay so when you press uh, when you type your username and then press and uh, type your password and then press enter so now you come into the unix dialog box or unix screen okay so basically this is all about your unix architecture okay so the main concept that uh, unites all the versions i basically uh, version of unix is the following four basics kernel shell commands and utilities and files and directories so these are the basic four basic parts of the unix architecture first is your kernel second is your shell third is your commands and utilities commands like your cp mv cat grep so these are the 
uh, version of Unix following four basics. The main concept that unites all the version of Unix is the following four basics. Files and directories also. So basically, these are the four basics concept of the Unix version. Fine. There are a lot of uh, uh, commands in Unix like uh, uh, if I'm telling you like uh, halt. So what is halt command? Halt command basically brings the system down immediately. When you type uh, H A L T on your terminal and then press enter. So it brings the system down immediately. Fine. So there are a lot of commands like uh, your uh, uh, reboot. When you type reboot, R E B O O T, so it so it reboots the system, your system. Like your power off is your third command. When you shut down the system by powering off. Next command is your like uh, shut down. When you shut down the system. Next command is your IN it in it zero so what is basically uh, uh in it zero basically the powers of the system using predefined scripts to synchronize and clean up the system prior to shutting uh, shutting down okay so basically uh, in it zero powers of the system using predefined scripts so next is your in it six so uh uh, actually, uh, in it six uh, basically reboots the system by shutting it down completely, completely shut down. Okay. So you 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 typically need to be the super user or a, a root that uh, on a to shut down the system. However, on some standalone or personally own Unix boxes. Okay. uh in unix architecture like uh, there are uh, four basics file in unix architecture here you see in unix architecture there are four basic types of files there are four basic types of files okay one is your ordinary file second is your uh, directories like this okay not uh actually uh, i don't uh, remember uh, basically uh, i think there are three types of files in unix first is your uh, ordinary file second is your uh, second is your uh, uh, directories third is your special files so uh, basically what is your uh, ordinary files an ordinary file is like a, a file on your system that contains all the data and text also or program instructions also so in this uh, in this lecture or uh, uh, in this class you look to working uh, with ordinary files okay in the next lecture or in the next slide so what do you mean by directories? So directories store both special and ordinary files. Here you see directories. Basically, directories store both special and ordinary files for okay. For users familiar with the Windows on or a Mac operating system, Unix directories are equivalent to folders. Okay. So here last is your uh, special files so what do you mean by special files like some special files provide uh, uh, access to hardware such as hard drives your uh, cd drives cd rom drives and your modems and ethernet adapters so other uh, special files are similar to rises or shortcut and enable you to access a single file using different names right So this is all about your uh, Unix architecture in detail, fine. So uh, thank you so much. This is uh, all about your uh, 
a history of uh, Linux and uh, Unix operating system in detail. Thank you so much.